Building after building destroyed. Trucks flipped onto their sides, trees uprooted. Entire communities in Kentucky have been flattened. The worst, most devastating, most deadly tornado event in Kentucky's history. More than 100 workers were inside a candle factory in the small city of Mayfield when the tornado hit. I'm trying to be cool, y'all, but I'm really, really scared. This woman was rescued, but dozens of other people are still missing. Last night was the last phone call that we've heard anything from her. And it was to her husband saying, his honey is getting bad, the roof is gone. It'll be a miracle if anybody else is found uh, alive. Massive wet! Massive wet! Power flash again! The damage isn't confined to Kentucky. <laughs> A swarm of twisters ripped through five other US states, including Illinois, where at least six people died at an Amazon warehouse. The uh, damage is, is worse than some of the stuff I've seen in war pictures, so it's, it's pretty intense. I am totally appalled. The courthouse, the hospital, I mean, everything, the churches. It's just unimaginable. I cannot believe it. This is likely to be one of the largest tornado outbreaks in our history. It's a tragedy. And we still don't know how many lives are lost or the full extent of the damage. Experts say it's unusual for tornadoes to strike at this time of year and with such force. The largest one is estimated to have stayed on the ground for more than 300 kilometres. The worst case scenario happened. Warm air in the cold season, middle of the night. This sickens me to see what has happened. While authorities still face a massive clean-up, the priority now is on the search for survivors. Jade McMillan, ABC News.